Hello. Today we're going to look at how to calculate、uh, kinetic energy of rigid body, and you can find the equation, the full equation on your textbook. So the full equation for kinetic energy defines as T, which is kinetic energy, equals one half mass times V P squared plus one half I P omega squared plus mass V P vector. Dot product,、uh, omega cos with R G slash P, position vector. So if we look at this equation, we have three different terms, and we have a letter P that states the the point you are trying to find this kinetic energy. So you need to pick a point that you want to calculate kinetic energy because. This velocity, sorry, this speed gonna be depend on the point you pick on the rigid body, and this mass moment of inertia gonna be dependent on、uh, which point you pick, and also as for this position vector r g slash p depends on which point you use. So today we're gonna talk about what are the ways we can simplify this equation. This is a pretty long equation and involves dot product and cross product. Can be pretty hard to solve, and so we have two different ways we can simplify this kinetic energy equation calculation. And but something to remember is you should always start with this full equation, and start the full equation, then think about how to simplify it. So we're going to talk about two different cases. And the case number one, how to find simplify this equation. So what do I mean simplify? We want to find pick a particular point so we can make this equation look short.、Uh, in other word, we want to get rid of this dot and cross product term. If we can get rid of this third term, we will call it win. So the first case is you can put your point A. Sorry, point P、um, on your mass center G. So you you can select this random point P on the mass center of the rigid body. So what benefit that gonna bring to you? Once you pick point P as your point G, if you look at this term, the position vector R G slash P gonna turn to R P slash P, which Going to be zero, so your equation can be simplified to one half m v g squared plus one half i g omega squared. That's it. So your cal your kinetic calculation kinetic、uh, sorry kinetic energy calculation going to just be one half m v g squared with speed as mass center squared plus one half Ig. This is simply the、um, mass moment inertia of the rigid body. So for that guy, on your page three hundred three, there's a table with different geometries. You can find what is Ig. And here, this omega squared is simply the angular speed of the rigid body and squared. So that's first case. You can pick P on the center of mass. And simplify your、uh, kinetic energy calculation. We have a second case. The second case would be if you can find a point、um, that give you zero velocity. So make it this guy equal zero. In that case, this holds the third term going to be zero. So which point is going to give you zero velocity? And so that would be if you put point P at, on a fixed point. Let's assume that fixed point is point O. And if you have a fixed point on your rigid body, again, this is probably not the case for all problems. There's only certain certain problems with a fixed point on the rigid body. Then. If that's the case, put P on a fixed point O. Our equation gonna be just one half 
m v o squared plus one half i g omega squared. And again, since we pick a fixed point, so that vp vector goes zero. If vp vector vector is zero, a fixed point should also have a zero speed. So this can be further written down as one half i g omega squared. So the equation is much shorter. T equals one half, sorry, I O omega squared. And the equation is shorter, but you need to solve what is I O because that point O may not necessarily be the center of mass. And you need to use either parallel axis theorem or other method to find what is I O.